P -p please don't kill me. You monster, release our people. Get out of here. I ain't afraid of you. My, you look exhausted. Here, drink this. They're all gonna mess with me here. Yeah, now I've been poisoned. <laughs> yeah, that was spiked with poison. Die, you stupid gullible knight. Joke's on you, man. I'm just experimenting and enjoying everything here. This is all content. But yeah, they're definitely not very friendly here. I mean, we've we've experienced things where like people don't talk to you and shops won't sell you anything, but literally getting stage effects and being poisoned by the people there while you're uh, like walking around, that's kind of crazy. I mean, I feel like sleeping in here is going to be interesting too. Let's just do it. There might be something weird happening. If it isn't, oh well. But especially in these older Fire Fantasies, the sleeping mechanic can sometimes lead to extra cutscenes and moments. Not this time. I thought with everything they've done to me so far, <laughs> while I was sleeping, something would happen. Okay. Let me continue. This bit. You have no idea how much pain and suffering you have caused us. have the gall to come here? I wasn't deliberate, yo. Okay, tend to this bit. All of prayer. You are that knight from before. Why have you returned? My name is Cecil. I am the former commander of the Red Wings. Before, I did not have the courage to go against the king's orders, but now I wish... Apologizing won't bring back those who have already died. However, I see that you truly regret your actions. Perhaps it would be worth my time to hear what you have to say. I am now fighting against a man named Golbez, who seized control of Baron. However, my companions and I were attacked by Leviathan, and I have lost them all to the sea. Still, I must continue our path to save one dear to me who has been captured by Golbez. Perhaps this is a test and you must prove yourself worthy. However, you have come to rely too much on your Dark Sword. This will only lead to the darkening of your soul. If you wish to fight with purity, you must head to Mount Ordeals to the east. On that mountain you may find where your true fate lies. But Golbez holds Rosa's life in his hand! I cannot afford to waste time with other quests now. I see this girl means much to you, but you mustn't be impatient. You are destined to a great fate. You must go to Mount Ordeals and transform that dark sword you carry into one of light. Those who accept the holy light may become paladins. Many have tried, but none have returned. Do you wish to go? Yes but I have little confidence I can do this on my own. I thought as much. I shall call upon some mages to help you. Palam? Porum? Palam Polum. You called for us, Elder? Where is Palam? Palam, come out this minute. <laughs> okay. Wow. You want me to help this Baron Sleaze? Look at that cheeky face. Be grateful that my city's greatest magical prodigy, Palum, will even consider assisting you. Are these the mages? Yes, this is Palum and Porum. Although still apprentices, they should be of great help. I am the best black mage in all of my city. You'd be lucky to polish my wand, Baron Scum. Callum, I hope you behave yourself on this journey. My name is Porum. I am pleased to meet you, sir. Palum, greet him properly. Hey, nice to meet you. Yay, okay. Well, there you go. This is interesting. Now go to Mount Ordeals. You two... Do everything in your power to assist Cecil. Wow. Well, this is very interesting. I mean, 
I've been saying that every Final Fantasy I've been playing so far, it feels very familiar, but also feels very different. And for me, obviously, one of the standout things so far is the way that people just keep coming and going from the party. Like, no one's business. It's happening so frequently and so fast that it's, it's definitely surprising. I did not think it would happen to this much of a degree. I mean, I at least thought it would be the same sort of five people, let's say, coming and going. But now, we have these two random mages as well. It's like, are these guys going to be there to the end? Are they literally just there for this one quest? It's weird. A paladin is the antithesis of a dark knight. And yeah, obviously we have this narrative too, where we've been getting this, these sort of increasingly powerful things. And that makes me wonder, once we're done with Mount's Ordeals, can I no longer equip all of this stuff? Is that how it works? Like, all of these are going to go? Could be. It would make sense. So definitely very interesting stuff happening. And honestly, I think one of my favorite things so far is the way that what's happening in the world and the story has felt quite linked to the gameplay. So things like, let's just say, I am correct, and once we become a paladin, we can no longer equip this stuff. That's, that's a way in which the story and the world sort of manifests in the actual gameplay. Things like um, Rydia not knowing fire at first, that kind of stuff. I, I've been enjoying that for sure. It's really cool. So, for these guys, if I want to, I can equip this kind of stuff. Like Healing Staff, for example. Now, with these guys, of course, I, I feel like these, for these ones, it's very obvious that they might be leaving. So I do have to be careful and make sure I don't um, screw up. What's the... Yeah, so we've got Wizard's Hat, Gaia Gear. Let's give the Black Mage the... Actually, let's give the White Mage the Wizard's Hat, and we'll give the Black Mage the Gaia Gear. And we'll give a Flame Rod, why not? Okay, so that's some level of stuff. Um... Yeah, row-wise, I think they're doing fine. 50 MP each, and hopefully they'll go up pretty quick. So, I mean, maybe Cecil is going to be the only one that we have for, uh, like, basically the entire game. It seems like it so far. I figured once we got, like, um, Yang and those guys that we'd have a much more stabilized party, but they did not stay there for very long at all. So, I don't know how the level business is going to work. I mean, the, the, there always seems to be a gap. Whatever party we have, there's like a 5 to 10 level gap between Cecil and the others. So that is a bit strange, but let's just go on this adventure and see where it takes us. So, throw in a new save. Thankfully, we've got loads of slots here, so I don't have to worry about that business again. How many slots do we even have? Let's have a look. 20. That's plenty. 20 is plenty. Um, okay, I'm going to go and see how we do. So the journey to become a paladin. Oh god, tiny mages, no! I'm going to use darkness. Bluff. Twin cast. He's got twin cast? Holy smokes. Whoa, okay. Speaking of holy smokes, we just did a bit of that. Honestly, when tiny mage is in there, I just do not want to do any of that. KO'd. Um, okay. Going well so far. Okay, we've got the wizard hat anyway. Cecil is kicking butt now. But we're not going to get to use these toys later. Whoa. Okay. Um, let's go for the zoo again. Twin cast. So is twin cast just like two random spells? How does it work? Let's see. And it takes a long time to charge too. 280. Wow. And yeah, these mages are... Oh, they're casting something together. Well, I thought twin cast was just a dual cast. Only one of them does. Let's have a look. What you got? Pyroblast. Whoa. <laughs> Freaking hell. Holy shit. Okay. Let me have a look at that. Opens world map. 
So yeah, this is how you can see it. So again, it's taken me a long time, but um, it's nice to have a key here as well and just names. You saw in Final Fantasy V, especially like when you play a bit start-stop, you just forget where everything is. So that's good. Present location is here. Okay. And we need to head to... So for some reason, it's not actually noted. I think it's only places you've been before that appear on this list now. But I mean, that's that's fine. So it costs 2 MP to do that, which is a bit annoying, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any time against these guys. Just go. And I can always heal up later. Oh, I've got Blizzara too. That's dope. Big old forest here. It's a shame that enemies don't change when you're in the forest, though. Having, like, forest-specific enemies is always cool. KO'd. Boom. But is it only him that gains... I think it might only be him that gains experience when that happens. I've got to be careful of that. Five, four, six. Okay. I do need my mages to be... Doing well. So that might be the entrance. Mm. Okay. This could hurt. But he's withstood that very well. Splendid job. Um So we've got weird abilities like Cry. What does that do? Flustered the enemy. Missed. Bluff. Panem's magic power increased. Okay. You can only think of Palem Polem in Final Fantasy XIII. Um, let's cure him for future... Darkness use. Oh god. Oh, it missed. Nice. Okay. Wow. You see, sometimes literally just one step. But because I want the levels at the moment for, for the kids. Yeah, I think that's... I don't want to keep checking the map every five seconds, so I am going to occasionally go down dead ends like this, but... Nice. Yeah, they really are prodigies. They're learning stuff fast. So it was not this way. It's not going to be this way either. But it's okay, I mean, there's nothing out here that's a threat to us. So, I'm just going to wait just in case. Just keep it simple for now. Oh, come on, really? Wow, we got two turns in before they did. That's beast. I'll probably use a 10 once they're up a few more levels and their MP has gone up a few notches, too. Right, there it is. Okay. Yeah, this is a good encounter. Um, it seems to work very, very well against a zoo for some reason. Yeah, so let's see how much... Ooh, 15 MP. Yeah, very expensive.
But yeah, Cecil is lightning fast compared to these guys. Let's just use a fire anyway, see how she does. Intellect is 19, so... Mm. Oh god. It's one of these that it's going to persist after the battle as well, right? And got no AP for that, experience for that. Yeah, okay. Um, I do need that gold needle. Let's use something like Thundara just to see how we do. I can always take them out with darkness anyway. Yeah. I'm going to use a 10 anyway, so I'm not too bothered. Cecil still has a nice 0 MP. Right. Die, you little shits. Okay. So yes, before I head in, let's use that tent. I'm sure we'll gain a few more levels on the way. At the moment, it's mostly just an MP thing. But already doing better. The MP does go up pretty fast, so... We'll be okay. Right then, mount all deals. Actually, let me save before I head into this one. I'm not sure how long this will take. Lego! Wow, that did not take long. Okay, let's just start using this ship. See how that does. Okay. Again, gonna conserve MP in general here. If I get too spammy with that stuff, it's not gonna help. He knows Cura too. Um, so those guys are weak to Holy, that I can recall. Right, 200, and you can get a Cursed Ring. Yeah, okay. Leech. Okay. So there's two types of Zoo? I didn't realize that. This one we don't know. 941, whoa. Okay. Fine. The only thing with this... Oh, okay. Well, we're going to need some help. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah, yeah. Keep your hat on. Blizzard! <laughs> ha! Too easy. <laughs> These two are cute. Palum, the Elder taught us not to submit to arrogance. Please forgive him for his antics. <laughs> Those two are great. Meanwhile, in Sirius Land... Wow, this place looks cool. Come forth, Scar Miglione! Of course it's called Scar Miglione. Scar Miglione. Ridiculous names in this game. Scar Miglione of Earth, at your command. I'm going to call him Scar. Cecil aspires to dangerous heights. He ascends Mount Ordeals as we speak. I shall clip his wings now. So he desires to become a paladin. Dispose of him. His dark sword should be all but useless against your undead. I shall return with his head... Yeah, we're in trouble now. This is getting interesting. Wouldn't you say so, Kane? Cecil might prove to be quite a formidable opponent. You dare question my judgment? No, sir. Scar is one of the four elemental arc fiends. He will not fail. Rosa will bear witness as well. Sir, please grant me a second chance. Instead of Scar, allow me the task of slaying him. 
just be grateful I let you live after that blunder. Guarding Rosa may be even too great an honor for you. Cecil. See, I'm sure you guys are already thinking what I'm thinking. Of course, I sold the weapons because I was like, I got a badass weapon here anyway. And then it's like, oh shit, uh, we're going to be facing undead. So at least I have the Shadow Blade here. Thankfully, I didn't sell this. But um, I've got to be careful. If I get into the boss battle without a chance to change my weapon, then I could have a problem. So I, I've got to be careful because if the KO thing works, then I think they just get re-raised or whatever it might be. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But thankfully, I didn't sell all of my weapons except for that. Otherwise, it would have been bad. Potion. So yes, we've got Don Scarmigliani as well to deal with. Okay, and just decided to not encounter anything now. There you go. What the hell? Seven? Are you kidding me? What on earth? Seven individual enemies. That's just a madness. That's ridiculous. Um, let's use a cure on everybody. And then, of course, we've got fire, too. And they're still weak to normal good old fire. Right? Well. Let's see what happens if I KO someone. Yeah, so the, the sword basically doesn't work against those guys. So I've got to be very careful. So I think I will swap this. I think there's going to be more and more undead as we go. So I've got to be careful. Wow, none of them are dead yet. What the hell? Really? I'm very surprised at this point. Okay. Yeah, those guys are... Those guys are tough. I might have to do some twin cast. But hopefully I'll get some good experience here. So then, um, we can't be using this. And yes, there was the expensive, but it would have been very useful against these guys' armor, which I didn't have enough money for, but that's okay. But then again, I couldn't equip the shield anyway. I do have the shield that's good against the undead, but I can't use it. So. Okay. Um, let's drop some cures. Okay. Keep it going. Ah, Teller. Yes. Teller. Cecil? It's Mage City around here. What brings you here? Wait. You seek Meteor as well? Meteor? You know about Meteor? That means you're Teller. Hey, old man. Am I right? Don't be rude. You stand before the great sage himself. It is an honor to meet you, sage teller. We came here from Mycidia under the orders of our elder. Yeah, we're spying on... <laughs> Excuse me. As I was saying, we're just serving as guides for Sir Cecil. My name is Porum. And I am Palum, my city is most exalted mage. I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> Kids from my city, eh? Cecil, where are Rydia and Edward? We were attacked by Leviathan on our way to Baron, and... What? They aren't dead, are they? I'm afraid so. And Golbez has captured Rosa. I'll bet you that's his girlfriend. Hush! I thought you'd headed straight to Baron to confront Golbez. 
Against the likes of Golbez, my spells are still lacking in power. I've come here to seek the legendary spell, Meteor. I sense a strong aura on this mountain. I believe it holds what I am looking for. But that spell is much too dangerous. It requires tremendous vitality. For a man your age... I admit I am old, but I will make Golbez pay, even if it costs me my life. Jeez, why are adults so pig-headed? You don't understand because you're still a kid. Now hush. Cecil, you have yet to answer my question. Why did you come here? I came here in hopes of becoming a paladin. I cannot defeat Golbez with the Dark Sword, and I have longed to renounce this hateful thing. Who's Golbez? Don't you know anything? He's the one controlling Baron. He is no mere man. He is the source of all the evil deeds that have plagued us. So, you've come here to become a paladin. Then this mountain must hold some secret, just as I suspected. I shall accompany you. Yes! Welcome back, Teller. Yeah, we're going to kick ass now. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. So, let's order Teller to the back row. So he's level 22 now, which is nice. Um, he's got Gaia stuff as standard, which is cool. Okay. So we've got two people with Gaia gear, which is nice. And I think we'll be okay from here. Um, I mean... I think we'll just keep the staff. But yeah, it's good to have him back. I don't know if even the Shadow Sword is still going to do one damage to the undead. If so, it's going to be it's going to be a slog, but we'll see. So I think what I'll do the next save that I get to, I'll probably wrap up for this session. Oh, there you go. There's some exciting stuff in store.